This sellout crowd here at the Toyota Center. Cheering against the hated Lakers here early. Stoller foul as Odom hit him. Already a couple of shoves and pushes after the whistle. And one thing we knew coming in, Kobe Bryant was going to look to be aggressive early and often. Knocking down the jump shot, and that's a sign of trouble. No matter who's defending him, when he locks and loads, scores early from the perimeter, you have your hands full trying to contain him the rest of the way. That foul on Odom before the shot, so the Rockets take it out of bounds. To play efficient offense. Artest kicks another three. Artest from downtown. Very strong in the series. He's actually a better three-point shooter than two-point shooter. Knocking it in and then. It's the perimeter guys that now have the responsibility of putting the body on scope. Kobe Bryant gets the nice roll. He's four for five to start. Off the dribble as the double came late. Bryant. Oh, Bryant on fire to start. Luke Walton in guarding Artest. Artest powers to the basket. Scola left open. And knocks down another. Luis Scola, eight points here in the opening period with five rebounds as well. As Artest flips it in nicely with the left hand. Back in Houston, one of the fun matchups. You have maybe the most dynamic offensive player in the game in Kobe Bryant against one of the best perimeter defenders in Battier. We talked about dealing with Kobe and some of his occasional taunting that goes on. I always stay the course, good or bad. I always move on to the next play. And that's the way I was taught and the way I was raised. Um, I have a game plan, and I think I'm executing it. Um, there's only so much you can do against this guy. He's, he's a different animal. I'm enjoying the challenge. Um, all the yapping, it's, to me, it's, it's semantics. No big deal. Doesn't make him play harder. Doesn't intimidate me. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Let's, let's play. How much do you love that attitude? This second unit for Houston, again, they play so hard. Come out with so much energy. Kobe Bryant puts it in, a three-pointer. He's got 14 already. Shot clock at seven. Battier gets right on it. Bryant to the basket. That shot won't go. Gasol can't get it. Score with a rebound. Stolen by Bryant. Michael Cooper was the elite on-ball defender in his era. Ariza may be on his way towards that, but he's not even close. Artest tips it in for what Michael Cooper accomplished in his career. Bryant quickly out. Walton will try a three-pointer. That's good. Luke Walton back to back jumpers. And the Lakers go up by four. That's a great read coached by Kobe Bryant. Making the play, forcing the defense to collapse. Derek Fisher suspended the one game for the foul on Luis Scola in game two. And if Yao Ming wants to shoot that jump shot, if I'm LA, I am so thankful that he wants to play at 17 foot. Lakers with six free throw attempts to 15 by the Rockets. Now with Kobe Bryant, his foul, or it wasn't called a foul in game two, that elbow to Ron Artest after the league reviewed it, said it was a flagrant one foul he was charged with after the foul. Now Ming drive, ball knocked away. Lakers by seven. Artest, hard drive. Far they've tried to do that, but with no results. Well, it certainly was emotional to start. As Yao yeah, block, Kobe Bryant with the rejection on the help defense. Well, this is just a great help defense play. Yao's got to dunk that ball, but Bryant, just like Dwayne Wade, great coming from the weak side to block shots as a guard. Bryant the runner, tough shot, won't go. Ball tipped, still alive and put in. I think Bynum was the one that tipped it in. Either Bryant or Bryant. Actually, I believe it was the left hand of Kobe Bryant, active, chasing his own shot. Bryant, hesitation out to Odom, wide open three, does it again. Lamar Odom, his second three-pointer of the game. And it's a 13-point Laker lead. Artest hesitant to take that open jumper. Now drives inside, left-handed, flips it in. Back to 11, final minute. Goes left and draws the foul. He's a right-hander. Well, that's where he's most effective, does it that time, and will be rewarded with two free throws. And he's not making his jump shots, he's pushing him a little bit more, and make him shoot it up over the top. Well, that's a good description, but right now, you understand the Lakers are going to put the ball in the hands of Bryant and look for him to make a play. If I'm the Rockets, recognize that you have a foul to give and take it at the proper time. And this is an old... Michael Jordan play. They're going to break everybody out of the line and try to get Kobe Bryant some space right in the free throw line to the top of the key area. 
and our test is perfectly positioned to take that away. Excellent ball denial from our test. Brian has to come outside to get it. Drives, fires a long three. It's good at the buzzer. Kobe Bryant nails the three pointer. Such a tough shot. Our test defended him so well. And Bryant still able to knock it down. Good D from our test. Kobe Bryant just wants to catch it and then. Mama, there goes that man, long distance, knocking down the Jay to end the court. The Lakers outscore the Rockets 24 to 14. Bryant with the great offensive play there, but the Laker defense was superb. Matty A back on Kobe Bryant. Three chips, quick catch and shoot, knocks down the three. Shot clock at four, Bryant the drive, the ball fake. Misses it, gets the rebound, banks in the follow. 23 for Kobe Bryant, and he paid the price for that one. Wafer has eight points here in the fourth quarter. He's been doing the scoring for it. Kobe Bryant blocked, still put it in. Battier got a piece of it, and Bryant with his strength backed it in. How about this play, Mark? Well, you understand, Kobe understands, hey, this is game-winning time. Actually, no foul, that's all ball by Shane Batty and the strength of Kobe Bryant. They got it within eight, Kobe Bryant. Fouled by Battier. Battier's second foul. Bryant two for two from the line. Ten point lead again. Bryant on Battier getting in deep that time. And our test able to get it to go. Got away from the three point line and able to get something going down low. The saw the drive. Kicks it out. Bryant just gets it off in time and puts it in. A three-pointer for Kobe Bryant as the shot clock expires. The lead back up to 11. Huge shot right there as Artest forces it up. Blocked by Odom. Artest gets it back and bullies his way in as he backs it in. But on the offensive end, the good news is Kobe Bryant beating the clock. It should be a crime being that good. 30 for Kobe Bryant. Our test on the drive, gets inside, banks in. Sports center coming up next. Can the Rockets make one last run? Our test finally gets one to go. It's a three-pointer. But they're going to review it. Lakers just splitting a pair of free throws the last two times. They've got to get the ball into Kobe Bryant's hands as we see that the two-point shot. Clearly that right foot on the line. And I think Fisher's got a better matchup with the strength of Kyle Lowry. Artest launches a three and nails it from about five feet beyond the arc. That makes it eight with 45 seconds to go. Gasol driving and a hard foul as Gasol goes down hard. It's Artest. It's a hard foul, no question a hard foul, but the officials are going to review it. Call it a flavor two. And Wafer with a quick foul. 43.3 seconds remaining. 10 point game. See, to me, the Fisher foul is totally different than that foul. That does not equate to what Fisher did, which was to me premeditated where he lined Scola up. Meanwhile, Wafer throws it away. Lowry fouls Bryant. It looked worse because of the way this all went down. A seven-footer going up in the air. He probably tried to send a message to his team. Mission accomplished. Now th they, they find themselves up to one. Wafer brings it up. That won't go. Hold on the rebound, and that'll do it. Lakers take a 2-1 lead and regain the home court advantage. Well, it's an impressive 14-point win here in Houston. 33 more points for Kobe Bryant, not after the 40-point effort, but that is the key sight and the key story for the Houston Rockets. Yao Ming limping off the floor. How serious it is, and will he be ready for game four on Sunday?